Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended in the center just released and I'm going to show you how to get to the special underwater biome known as the underworld. It's actually really easy. There's two really popular ways to get down to the underworld and I'm going to show you real quick. So the coordinates, by the way, we're going to start in this first one. I'll show you the other one at the end of the video, just like pop up and then show you how to quickly get down to it. But it's a super easy thing to do. Uh, you're going to want to go to 44.7 and 53.1. This is the first way to get into it. You saw it on the map. And uh, yeah, you're just looking for the water. It's going to look a little bit funky. All you have to do is go in the water. Now, if you don't mind while we're traveling down there, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel for some more helpful content. Now, all you're looking for is a little entrance to the what seems to be the center of the I mean, nothing that's right. Uh, it's a very easy one to get to. You're just going to, I mean, most characters can make it on a single breath. You're just going to go directly above it, and then you're just going to swim straight down while you're holding sprint. Now, you can see the bottom drop off. The one thing I'm going to warn you of is when you do go into this one, you are going to drop. Now, just keep that in mind because I'll, I'll, that'll make sense in like two seconds. Uh, but you're going to keep swimming down, and uh, obviously with the reduced character speed, it's going to change a few things. There will be piranha in here, so just be careful of that. Uh, some people might run out of oxygen without any oxygen booster, but most people can make it and survive. And that's it. You're just going to swim down, up, and over. Now, you're going to notice you're up on a giant ledge. So your two options, carry a flyer into here so you can fly with said flyer or jump. Now, just because I'm going to show you the chords again, 45.7, 53.1, you just look down and jump. That's it. Now, you're going to land in the water from this specific spot, so you will not die from this one. Um, but it is a long drop, so just be aware of that, obviously, as you can see right now. Um, yeah, that's a long ways down, but you end up in the underworld biome. Now, this underworld biome is one of the most popular places to build a base because one, it's absolutely massive. And two, the amount of functionality you have of building the actual top of the map bases up here because you can place some cliff platties down. And also there's a, quite a few little zones and little areas like this that you can just plop down a few things and no one's ever going to know you're there unless they're really looking, especially if you have some turrets. No one's going to be able to raid you because it's very difficult to raise a raided, uh, raised base like this. Now, there are also some, some point, also some points like this where it's kind of even more hidden, but it's a very popular PvP location. Now, this entire zone is buildable. The water is deep enough down here to raise every single creature to build a underwater base if you so desire and uh, put up a couple of boats. It's a huge zone, as you can see. Now, the entire thing underneath here uh, takes up a ton of space and there are a bunch of little uh, cave offshoots and every resource that you could need is down here you've got metal crystal obsidian wood everything most people will build a base down here and never leave because you have everything that you could possibly desire here now the one thing you want to focus on is if you look on the walls you'll actually kind of be able to see how to navigate around this because there are a few entrance points that you need to be aware of that are like cave formations if you want to think of it that way um, but yeah, that's that's the only major change inside of this area. So you can see that there are cave offshoots. Now there is caves that people like to build in because it's even further down and uh, one way entrance, right? Um, but you can see this one, a very long cave, popular building location because we start to get into the realm of this one or the, I believe there's an artifact in this one, the one I just happened to go into, but uh, yeah, you get the point. Uh, but pretty cool and uh, we're just going to keep going this one might just be the, one of the entrances it's a little more hidden but again uh, it, the the zone down here is absolutely a joke with how big it is so yeah so this is just one of the caves i think i can't remember which one i just entered into maybe this is yeah this is one of the entrances that's what it is uh and you can go all the way to the top on this one and drop down it's a common build location uh, due to the fact again it's another one of those entrance points just like you see right here and boop, there's another entrance where we are right now so pretty cool um so that's another one and then i'll go ahead and show you the other one that i regularly use and this one is a little bit easier to spot i think is a good way to put it because all you're looking for is the giant mountain yes on the map go to the giant mountain hit the chord specifically 36.350.1 and you're gonna go till you actually see these little ruins. You're gonna go inside of the ruins, 
And obviously there is stairs that go up to the higher side of this, but we're not going up to the higher side because we're not doing that. We're going down underneath. Now, if you're cheeky about this and you want to swim quicker, you can jump as you go down and in, which will give your character a little bit of a speed boost as you go into the water. And then you're just going to swim down again. Now you're going to swim down until the point where you can see the air bubble pop up. And once you get to the bottom of this thing, you will once again, you can hear the change right there be in the underworld of the center. It's a really cool zone, like I was saying earlier. And uh, we're going to go ahead and swim up again. And this is a different entrance. I would be very careful with this entrance because once you get to the edge of this one, just like the little water point that I showed you earlier, come on now. You can see that this one, when you drop down on this one, you have to be a little more careful because you have to follow this water because there are some rocks off to the side. So if you're not careful, you smack those rocks and your character will die. So this one's a little shallower. So just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool biome itself. Like every resource you could possibly need is in here. Um, there really isn't much that you need to change about a biome like this. Uh, it, it's huge. Uh, it's it's literally a map inside of a map. That's why a lot of people like the center because there's things like this, the underground ocean bubble, if you want to think of it that way. And then there's also a floating island. This map as a whole is absolutely fan freaking fantastic. It's probably one of the most popular maps in the game when it got released, especially. Um, and that's just due to the fact that people loved playing this map because it was unique. There was a, even though it was kind of like say plain Jane like the island it was plain Jane very similar to what the island is um I forgot how dark it gets over here um this is another cave by the way where we're heading but um it's just it's got crazy stuff all over the place this is obviously you saw the other cave offshoot that we went into this one is an actual another buildable cave and it's just got some absolutely wild stuff the chambers that you can build in this one are just a joke um yeah, it just keeps going. And uh, again, especially on an official server where you can build in pretty much all of this, you, most tribes in this, almost impossible to raid them because they have everything they could possibly need. These chambers that go on for days, you've got multiple walls that you could put up. You've got hidden rooms like this one over here. And the only way in is this little entrance point. Very difficult. And it's, I mean, again, it's just a cool thing, right? Like this is just something and you got water built into it. Like everything that you need is inside of this app, which is really fun in my opinion. Obviously, you can see the crystal glow on this stuff. Um, I don't think they made this harvestable. No, they didn't make it harvestable. That would have been too cool. The game would have, we would have enjoyed it too much to make it harvestable. Um, but yeah, you can see this underworld biome is probably one of the coolest things in the world. There's lots to explore, and you could spend hours down here trying to learn everything, and it's just a lot of fun. Um, you can see that this is another little like pathway, and there's a lot of like skill checks if you want to think of it this way uh, because you can see that this is the path that you have to move if you're not flying and it's not an easy pathway you have to be very cautious and take a lot of time to complete it and uh, once you get to the top there is an artifact i believe in this one and you're kind of just like jumping around it's it's a very difficult thing to do and uh yeah it's just it's awesome it's probably one of my favorite caves you can see here's the artifact right here artifact of the pack right here but yeah super cool map super cool underground biome and uh you should definitely check it out so hopefully this video helps you out and kind of explains to you what actually is the underworld in this map um, but yeah definitely check it out and hopefully this video helps you out and if you don't mind again smack that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel all right teach